you are looking forward for an answer uh, after, means uh, there are two stages to go to Germany. One is when you have got the scholarship and uh, before that is when you did not get anything and you are thinking to basically prepare for a scholarship and thinking to fly to Germany for the higher education. Your question is for the preparation to get a scholarship or after you get a scholarship and then after getting the scholarship. If you could touch on both points, it would benefit. So before and okay. after, maybe. So, some of you, one third of you are doing graduation. So, of course, you will be preparing. The stage when you did not even get the scholarship and you are preparing for it. So, first of all, you are at the right place and you have taken a very good decision to come in the lecture like this today because this is the place where you will get the right information. Okay? And you will get the authentic information. We were having a uh, seminar, uh, a program like this in IICT two, three months ago, which was organized by the DAD Chennai. And uh, you will not believe me, what we saw outside the IICT uh, security main gate, that some private company people, they printed a catalog or a booklet or pamphlet sort of stuff, and they used this logo of uh, study in Germany, all these flowers and Indo-German, you know, this. Uh, logo and they prepared a booklet and in that they say okay if you want to go to Germany contact us and that booklet they were trying to basically distribute to all the students there were 600 or 700 students who were coming to attend the authentic session like this uh, for going to Germany so one of us uh, saw that and informed to the organizers and uh, they were very upset they went to them and they asked who are you who sent uh, sent you and they ran away so first of all, uh, I think there, is, there are no uh, brokers for study, for, going, for doing higher education in Germany, if I'm right. Am absolutely. I right? You're yeah, absolutely. so there are no brokers. So you need not to go to any consultancy if you are planning to fly to Germany to do anything. Let it be a graduation, post-graduation, PhD. As uh, one of our colleagues said, Shilpa said, that uh, Germany is a fairly online country, particularly when it comes to the information. So India is, Indians are very good in browsing the internet and they know how to do, make best use of internet. So I think we should not be fooled by some private consultancies or something like that who claim that they will send you to Germany first. And you should rely on the internet, on the authentic sites or the lectures like this which you can attend from time to time. They are very intensive lectures and they are very informative, number one. Number two, you know, once you attend these lectures, then you basically know what you want to apply for. You want to apply for a scholarship to go to Germany. It could be a graduation scholarship, mid-term scholarship, short-term scholarship, PhD scholarship, whatsoever. So any scholarship you want to apply for, you will be asked your CV. And by default, you will be asked to write a concept note, okay? Or at least to propose what you want to do in Germany. So most of us, many of us, I won't say 100% of us, but many of us become very emotional actually when this question is asked, particularly when, when we are Indians. So the moment a question comes either in some form or say application form or some process, uh, when you are asked why you want to do this, so we become very emotional and we start writing that, uh, for example, if you want to, do, go to go to do our PhD in the field of cancer, so we start becoming emotional and we write, my grandfather died with cancer, my grandmother was suffering with cancer, I could not help them and one of my dream is to basically to cure the cancer, which I want to do in my rest of my life. So these are emotional statements. We should not uh, write like this and basically when you are asked what you want to do in Germany, basically you are expected to write, look, I read this and I know this or I have done this and further to this is this which you are doing and therefore our association is be, would be great and therefore I want to basically come to your laboratory and therefore I need this grant. So that is the right answer. Don't be emotional. Okay. Then because uh, this is a very often uh, I, when I discuss with German professors they have complained that most of the applications or emails which we get from India they sort of beg. And they keep telling their personal uh, emotions, and which is not required. So, 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 my sincere suggestion to all of you, to the beginners, to the mid-career students and researchers: please be confident. Read your field, what you are in, and 
get, get the knowledge. Your knowledge will be respected, not your emotions. You can have your emotions for yourself, burn, burn yourself in those emotions, do the best of you to give the best of you to the world, but don't let them come out, okay? When you are doing your profession, be professional and be reasonable. So this is one sincere advice, uh, particularly to the Indian students and uh, who actually we are sit in this hall. Then, uh, uh, of course, you get the funding, you get the successful funding. Then you have the admission letter in your hand. You are preparing for your visa. So get all the documents in your hand. Don't basically uh, leave anything because these are the administrative procedures and you should know well in advance about how much fees is there. So if you are going to give a draft, it should be exact draft. Okay, uh, my first experience when I was going to US in 1999, the fee for the visa was 2000 rupees. And uh, my agent, he gave me the draft of 2001 rupees. I don't know why. And it used to be a long queue in those years. I don't know what is the situation now to go to U US. And we were standing since four o'clock in the queue, since four o'clock in the morning, though I was upset about it. And therefore I did not go to US after that. Uh, yeah, so since four o'clock in the morning, and uh, by 10 o'clock, uh, my number came and I went to the counter and that uh, gentleman, he said, you give your papers, I give, you give your draft, I give, and it was 2001 rupees. He said, this is uh, one rupee extra. He said, uh, okay, I'm sorry about that, but what can be done now? He said, no, I need exact draft. I said, this is anyway extra. So it's okay because I did not know this 2000 and it was 2000 by till last week. He said, yeah, one rupee is increased and they're uh, decreased and therefore I need the exact draft. And uh, I asked him what to do now. He said, there is a bank nearby, you please go and take a new draft. And I came out and then I did not know that once we come out, we cannot go in. And I had to stand in the queue next day once again from four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so anyway, this was experience for the v v US Embassy. It can be true for German embassy also. I don't know if it had been true for anyone or not. But from your end, you should be well prepared actually. And why to go with the wrong things in your hands? Go with the right things and get the things done in a professional way.